Uh, good day, guys. I, I had a request for a bit of uh, last minute revision. So here we go. True bearings and compass bearings. So if you're doing like an applications question of uh, sine or cosine rule, maybe trigonometry, maybe Pythagoras theorem, you might have someone walking or a boat traveling following either true bearings and compass bearings. Most of us have done these questions before. Uh, let's take a look. North, south, east. Oh, that's terrible. West. I'll try and fix that up. Okay, so first I'll talk about true bearings. So if I start at a spot, wherever that spot might be, and I travel in, say, this direction, the true bearing is taken from north to there. So I'm traveling in a direction of 70 degrees, oops, 70 degrees true. Okay, let's try another one. Now let's say someone was traveling at a 100 and, 150 degrees true. Now the way that we set that up is we start along our north line and go 150 degrees. Boom. They must be moving in that direction. That's 150. That's 150 degrees. True. Let's say I'm a person and I'm standing here and there's another person standing in the direction 230 degrees. True. They must be standing, starting from north, around 180 plus another 50 they must be standing in that direction, 230 degrees true. Finally, I can go all the way around to like here. If I went all the way around to here, that would be maybe like 359 degrees true, all the way around. That's true bearings. Compass bearings, you've seen those before. Compass bearings start either with the north or the south. So I'll give you an example of one compass bearing. North 50 degrees east. That means start by facing north and then move 50 degrees east. So that's north 50 degrees east. I'll do another one. Let's say it was north 30 degrees west. That means start by facing north and then turn 30 degrees west. All right, um, so north 50 degrees east, north 70 degrees east, north 20 degrees east, north 30 degrees west, north like 80 degrees west would go out in this direction. We can do all of this heading south as well. So if I said south um, 20 degrees east, that would mean start by facing south and then move 20 degrees 20 degrees in that direction. I could say south uh, 60 degrees west, and that would mean start south and go, oops, let's try again, and go 60 degrees west. Okay, so true bearings and compass bearings, a very, very simple way uh, of doing direction. Now these are questions that you should have seen before. Let's take a look at some questions from your textbook that you could check out. Okay, and there's a bunch of questions. Uh, you should have already done these already. Um, there's some right angle stuff, some sine rule stuff, and some cosine rule stuff as well, all dealing with true bearings and compass bearings. Good luck in the exam tomorrow.